Hey guys, and welcome back to my reaction videos. Today we are watching the official trailer for Miss Marvel, the first Muslim superhero in the MCU. I'm super excited about it, so let's just dive right in. I'm already liking the song. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. She thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You are a weirdo. Boys. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of on my shirt. Sorry. <laughs> but you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. Kamala, hey. Already? Really? Come on, like... Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch, or is your life? <laughs> Maybe they're right. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. What? That's a fantasy, too. Something happened to you? you no, know why? Did you hear something? Come on, love. What does it feel like? Cosmic. Oh, so she's like, has like. The I cosmic thought I powers. wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. Do you even know what you are? Ah, her costume! So many questions. I mean, I feel my reaction wasn't that extreme, but I am excited about it. The way it started off creatively with all the speech bubbles, like in the scenes. I hope they kind of do that. It's something very different you haven't seen in a Marvel show. It kind of reminds me of Ally McBeal or Lizzie McGuire, you know, where you can kind of see like animations or stuff that the character's thinking. So it'd be really, really fun to kind of see, you know, how this high school girl is thinking and what's like going on inside her mind. But I'm a bit confused. <laughs> In a good way, I'm intrigued because most people who know her from the comic books are going to realize that those aren't really her powers in the comic books. And I'm not adverse to them, you know, taking creative liberties with it. In the comics, she's kind of very similar to Mr. Fantastic, where she can kind of like stretch herself, become big or small, and she can actually even shape shift so she can actually look like someone else. Those aren't the powers she has here. She did say her powers feel more cosmic, so I'm assuming they're really, really wanting to tie her into Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau, seeing how both their powers are kind of cosmic-y based. So we know Captain Marvel has a Tesseract. Monica Rambeau got her powers by going through the hex field of Wanda, but you know, Wanda's technically powered by one of the Infinity Stones, so there is kind of some kind of cosmic connection there. So I'm thinking they're really just trying to take that into consideration while looping in Kamala Khan into their kind of story. It kind of looks like she gets her powers from the bracelets. Um, TBD, maybe they have kind of like the same connection to the Ten Rings from Shang-Chi. Still to be determined. I'm okay with it. She did kind of get like a big fist and kind of like punch some villains in the trailer. And that's kind of very reminiscent of what you see her kind of doing in the comic book. She just, you know, gets a big fist and stretches it out and like punches them. It looks good. I love this actress. She's so cute. I just, she really feels like she's going to capture the character very well. But yeah, those powers. I need to see more before I can make a judgment on it. But more or less, I'm okay with it. I do think one of the main, main reasons why I think that they will be kind of changing her power set is because we are due to get the Fantastic Four sometime at the end of Phase Four. So, seeing how they're going to introduce Mr. Fantastic and his powers are all about stretching, I'm pretty sure they're not wanting to have someone who has quite exactly the same power set. They really want it to be probably the first time you see it when they introduce the character. Maybe as one of the characters in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, he has been a member of the Illuminati. So, maybe. Fingers crossed. There was also a part in the trailer where she kind of like falls back and she kind of like enters like another dimension. So I really want to know what that is all about because is it kind of connected to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Is it not? Like what's happening? Ah! So many questions. 
But overall, I think it's going to be a very good show. Tonally, I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really upbeat. And it'll be really nice to have this teenager perspective into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, that's outside the common Spider-Man. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy to see diversity in the MCU. I will be watching it. I'll be creating reaction videos around it. And then we will see what really is up with her powers. Because I still want to know. I still want to know. Alrighty guys, thank you again for watching my reaction videos. Drop me a DM on Instagram, I'm at Directing Decal. I really want to know your thoughts about the Miss Marvel trailer. Are you excited? Are you somewhat excited? Are you like super excited? Let me know. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.